Here is Banner, the inspiration for the trophy. Beautiful stallion horse. And you see here is the measurements and the actual conceptual design, how I started. The clay began uh, with the movement of the horse. Now you see the muscles and the um, beautiful mane and the long uh, tail and the feathering on the feet, which really make this uh, gypsy vanner horse fantastic. The mold now is being built with their rubber process and you'll see constant build up. And then this is now put into um, a plaster form and then it receives the wax, which you see here in, in the brown color. There are actually two molds here to complete the horse. The worker here is smoothing out seams from the wax that has been produced. Every time we create a piece, this wax has to be made of the sculpture. You'll see these runners and rails. Those are attached to accept the um, wax and the um, metal. So there's airflow. See the very hot metal now. Now it comes out of the casting, and you see how it's been chipped away, the um, silicone. And now the extra legs will have to be welded onto the piece and then chased. This is the process here to um, remove any imperfections before the patina room. This is Banner right after he comes out of the uh, chasing and we're looking uh, over it before it goes into the patina room. Before the magic begins. The crowning touch on the trophy are the infinity rings. And so the worker here is, again, smoothing out any imperfections that are on the metal casting. And then he will get into dealing with these rings. The rings uh, were extruded, and then he is now cutting them down just so they fit a little better for the trophy. The infinity rings just give that extra touch to the trophy for the perpetual um, design. Now they're actually putting the rings together. He is now smoothing out or sanding the connection of the rings. We're in the patina room right now, and this will now be sanded and buffed. And then actually um, airbrushed to get rid of any of the sanding. He's still buffing out the rings, which will shine beautifully when the trophy is completed. There's so much detailing in making this trophy is unbelievable. Here it's now ready for him to start with the colored patina. He's working with the banner photographs and using his special coloring, as you can see on the photos, the black and white. So he'll be building up the colors of the black and white, starting with the black first. Now uh, he's continuing with the black. And we have photographs of all sides of the horse to make sure we capture the um, pattern on his coat.
this can be done for any horse uh, if a client wants special coloring for their sculpture it certainly can be done as long as we have all of the documentation now he's going to start um, continuing with the white for the feathering and the mane and here he starts you'll notice a torch that is the gas torch that actually heats up the metal and accepts the patina and seals it in. It's quite impressive to see the uh, process being done. Constant buildup of color. banner is coming to life. Okay, now, all right, so you're doing the final touches of the, the color patina. Looks wonderful. What a transformation. It's very exciting to know that this trophy will be used as a perpetual trophy for the Canadian Gypsy Banner Horse Society. And that each year, the winner, the best of show, will get to cherish this trophy at their ranch for one whole year. Now the piece is cooling down before it gets waxed and finished with the base of the trophy. And here we are. I'm so proud of this trophy and hope that people can enjoy this for years to come. These people are the force behind the Gypsy Vanner Fair in Canada. And Pamela Litz is the first winner of the trophy. Beautiful setting at Deerfield Stables in Canada. There's Banner in the arena.